Welcome to our multi-line video. This is where we have a look at the multi-line text editor. So this is video number 54 and if you want to work with me open up your drawing number 54 multi-line text. Have a look on the left hand side and you can see that this text is multi-line. It behaves like a text editor. Okay. Uh, you can choose different fonts and styles within the text editor. It will give you spell checking. And it will give you much more variety than that. Let's just have a look. Here we go. Here's an example column of our text. So if I click it, you'll see it's a complete object. And I can move the whole thing around as one object. And within this, we can have a number of different styles. So you can see, we can say here that we have a column of text that automatically wraps to the pre-selected width of the column. It can also spell check your typing and suggest alternatives. Now let's see if that's true. If I double click, I'm now inside the text editor. Up the top here, this whole ribbon at the top has changed yep and you can see any of the uh, typos that i've got here where it's going to suggest some different spelling are underlined in red i can right click here and i can go through and check from these suggestions so thank you very much and this one of course as well tidying tipping and tipsy so let's see if it's got typing in here <laughs> well there you go i've fooled the uh, text editor there we are. typing and suggest alternatives now it looks like it's got some sort of american hat uh, on at the moment so if we go to color there's the english spelling and it wants me to uh, change to the American spelling. But that's okay, I can ignore it, and then I can move on to the next section. So you can see we can alter the size of the font mid-paragraph. So what did we start off at? We started off at 50. Here's 50 up here. And if we come down a little bit further, we've changed the font. And then we change down here, we can change the style and the size. So we've got 78. And the size here is 121. That's a bit random, isn't it? 121.998. I think that was supposed to be 122. But maybe uh, there's something about that font that goes a bit random. Good. And this one would have been 78. So obviously it's something to do with the font, isn't it? Uh, so we've changed the font here. And then again, we've changed the font again. Yeah. Okay. So it's a bit like DTP or a text editor or Word, or, um, anything like that. Up the top here, we've got lots of control over all of the formatting. And so you've got all of the alignment arrangements here, justification. And you've got the ability to split it into a number of columns if you want to and add symbols. So, for instance, here I could add uh, symbols down here. So you can see we've got a whole bunch of different symbols that we can add. Um, we've got the spell checker and we can change the dictionaries that we're using. We can do a find and replace and uh, all sorts of exciting things. So brilliant. And to keep our changes, we've got this tick box here, which we're going to tick. OK. So now we're going to do our own column of text. So the multi line command is MT enter. We specify the corner. Now I've put some little red markers down here to help you 
just to focus on what we're going to do. Okay, this is the first point. We pull out, and this is the second point. Okay, that gives us a column width. We're not too worried about the column length because if we uh, keep on typing, then we're going to go on and fill out that column. Then we've got to decide what size text we're going to start with. So this is a 200 millimeters at the moment. And I'm going to change that now down to 50. And then I'm going to keep typing. Okay. Uh, this is the new font size. And then we're going to keep typing. And I'm going to press Enter here so we can get onto a new line. Uh, this is a new font style. And I'm going to select that line. And here where we've got our fonts loaded, I'm going to go and scroll up to uh, the classic Arial. And here we've changed over mid-paragraph onto a new font. And then we can change size. So I'm going to select that line. And here I'm going to put in 100. So you can see what we can do. So then I'm going to change color and color. That's the English spelling and color too. So I'm going to highlight that line. And then here's the color options. Now, by layer means obviously using the color of the layer that you're typing on. But obviously, if you want to override that, we can choose a different color from this palette and then choose the tick box. So there's a lot going on, isn't there, in our multi-line text, and we can be extremely flexible with all of that. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to select the column in the middle, and we're going to replace some of the content. OK, I'm going to double click into there, and I'm going to select right to the top. Now, the thing that we should realize is that you can cut and paste from here. So if I was to control C, okay, this can go into a different application. So thank you very much. And I can copy, which is control C. If I open up a separate application, so for instance, I'm going to open up my notepad and just go and type in notepad here and open up my notepad. Here we are, we've got notepad open and I can control V. So I've got exactly the same words, but none of the formatting. Okay. That's just the way Notepad behaves. And you can see that we've got exactly the same words here. But uh, also you can do that in the opposite direction, of course, as well. So you'll find that there's a file that uh, I've included with your drawings. And if I do a file open, I don't want to save those changes. But uh, it's called sample text to cut and paste. Okay. So if I open that, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of sample text. And I'm going to select all of these lines, Control C, and then back inside AutoCAD, Control V, paste. And there we go.
So we've pasted in all of the text from the other document. And you can see that it's formatted it with the default text and the default um, font that we've got. OK, excellent. And if I click outside here or I click on the Close Text Editor, there's all of the stuff that we've cut and paste from the other document. So this has lots of implications. It means that uh, you can tie up your drawing with uh, a specification, perhaps, that you're writing or somebody else's documentation. You can merge the two together so all of your documents say the same thing. So this is uh, brilliant and uh, I'm sure it's going to have a big impact on the way in which you use AutoCAD.